Hello, baseball fans. You're watching On Deck with Tyler Redman. Let's talk about the Mets for a minute because a lot of people are really focusing in on the Mets, and rightfully so. The Mets are one of the biggest talking points when it comes to this trade deadline because we all kind of figured they would be sellers. I think they got a few extra names they could afford to lose. Um, I, and to be honest with you, it would surprise me in the next few minutes if we see that happen. But a lot of people are saying with the Scherzer and Verlander trades, well, the Mets got back what they needed to make this make sense. Let me remind you, Max Scherzer is owed $57 million through 2024. That's the remainder of this season and the complete season of next year. He has exercised his option, so that is official. He is owed $57 million through that time. The Mets will pay $35 million of that fifty-seven, which means the Rangers are only paying $22 million, not only for the remainder of this season, but also next. For perspective, that is less than what Charlie Morton will make in that time. This is a definite win for the Rangers. A lot of people are saying that it's a win-win because the Mets are getting prospects back. That may turn out to be true. But also realize that they are paying him $35 million to not be on their team. That is Scherzer that we're talking about. What about Verlander? If he does exercise his option, which he has not yet, he will be owed $93 million. 54 of that million. $54 of that will be paid by the Mets. $39 million paid by the Astros. So what I'm saying here is that there's a lot of people saying that the Mets have struck gold when it comes to prospects. They're really stocking up on prospects. It's a win-win. Mets didn't really lose that much. They got to rid of two 40-year-old pitchers to, to not be on their team anymore, and they got back all these prospects. Two things can be true at the same time, because yes, the Mets did get rid of two 40-year-old pitchers that aren't going to help them this year, and they did get prospects back. But they're also paying a combined $89 million for those two pitchers to not be on their team. So, yes, they're not paying them their full salary. They did offload some of that. And there's really no other way to go about it. But they are still paying them $89 million. I cannot overstate that enough. Simply for Verlander and Scherzer to not be on their teams. So, you know, I, I think the Mets are doing the right thing here as of now, but I think it more so goes to how bad of a decision it was to pay these guys $43 million a piece per season, uh, $86 million total. That just shows you how bad of a decision that was. And, you know, I, I think the Mets do deserve some credit in reanalyzing their situation and correcting course, but it cannot go without saying that the Mets made a major mistake. It made, they made a major mistake in signing these two guys. Yes, they're Hall of Famers. Yes, they're great. Yes, Verlander's coming off of a Cy Young season. But no 40-year-old deserves... No, there are very few players in the game that deserve $43 million a season. And all due respect to what Scherzer and Verlander have done in their careers, at this point, they're not those guys. The Mets pride themselves on how much money they spend. And they're looking at what they have now, and they're realizing, yeah, we spent all this money, and we didn't get anything for it. Because currently, if they're not 18 games back, they're pretty close to it. So there's no chance of them making the postseason, in theory. So I, I look at it, and I think they are doing the right things. They are preparing for 2025, 2026. Around that time, they want to be good again. And that's why they're stocking up on prospects. Of course, not only with Scherzer and Verlander, they also have traded Mark Canna and David Robertson. David Robertson, I believe, went to the Marlins. Mark Canna was also moved. They received, again, Luis Angel Acuna, Drew Gilbert, Ryan Clifford, Marco Vargas, Ronald Hernandez, and Justin Jarvis for those four guys. So they did load up on prospects, but it cannot be overstated that they paid $89 million dollars simply to not have those guys on their team anymore and for these prospects so they're going to have to fork out something we're, we're going to have to see results for this to really make sense for them baseball fans make sure you like and share this video and subscribe to this channel as always thank you for your support